Greetings, everyone. Welcome to White Fucking Plays, a vertical kingdom. The demo. This is another deck building fest game. New day, new game. What is this about? There's nowhere to go but up. Vertical Kingdom is a card based city builder, roguelite, with a twist. You can only build vertically, literally reaching for the sky with each city. Lead expeditions to gather resources, construct metropolises and build ever upwards. Just game. It's not like start or anything, just game. Tutorial. Are you sure you want to proceed? Well, I don't really have any options. Let's do it. Welcome to Vertical Kingdom Builder. Build cities on a small land by constructing other over other structures. To start and end your turn, simply press the card deck in the bottom right corner. Let's build. That's the, that's the tutorial. Bam. On each turn, you will receive a set of cards. To build, simply left click on a card and left click on the ground to another building. To deselect, deselect a card, right click. Makes sense. Really wants me to pick this one? It's all the same, I think. Small brick house. Owner doesn't like to see the same house nearby. Bam. As you build new houses, you'll gain citizens. Your goal is to collect as many citizens as possible to unlock new cards. Check the box to see the current number of citizens in your city and the number needed to unlock the next card. Let's keep building. So check the box to see the current number of citizens in your city. One of five. Okay. Population of the city, the total number of citizens in the city. You reach a certain number, you will unlock a new card. So I can build, I don't have to build literally up. Building over existing structures is the key to success in Vertical Kingdom. The number of coins you earn when constructing a house is determined by its location and the type of buildings within the blue circle. Let's keep building and expand your kingdom. So I can't build up from that. But we can... Build here, I guess. What's this? Isn't that a house? Why can't I build vertically on that? We got one coin, two coins for building up. Enter. What a what a what a thing to get. Wait, what? It's odd where I could build on these, but I can't build on this. Oh, I can zoom in and out. Okay. Wait, why is that one? Oh, minus one on top and one down below. Quite just the same. It's interesting. New card has been unlocked. You can buy it in the store. To, you, to use a newly unlocked card, you must first purchase it. Simply press the buy card button located in the citizen box to access the store. Select to buy it. Okay. Brick tower. Build a brick building on top of or at the side of any height. Okay, buy. Set the card and buy it to acquire it. Watch that. So we need a specific structure to build higher. So this seems kind of okay. But I might be wrong there. We got three of them. This building can be constructed both horizontally and vertically on other buildings like them or on a special building like anchors. Wait, what? Hmm. I can build on top now, though. We now we've got to keep. I don't know if that would join up or not. 
We put it here? Oh, we're breaking a bridge. It's quite, it's quite nice that um, I'm enjoying it so far. To build a cross here, I guess. Kind of make it look cool. I don't know how worried we are at getting the most money possible. Maybe up here would be kind of cool because then we could make it join together. Just nice peaceful music. I can build here though. On the reach there, a good amount of citizens. It's time to expand your empire by traveling to new places. Click on the map button to open the map menu. But, oh, that's odd. Okay, so you're building over the top of the other house. And this is the same. Oh, it makes it into a whole building. Okay. Explore the new region to expand your empire and gain access to new resources and cards by moving to the different locations. Keep in mind that moving to a new location comes with a cost, but it's worth it in the long run. Your main objective is to reach all the places, so let's get moving. Okay. Okay, 15 citizens are needed. Just left that in half built. Population 17 times 20. Okay. S rank. <laughs> what? What other rank could you possibly get? Building vertically and horizontally. Okay. Okay, we've got bridges. Dear great architect of the glorious empire, while I understand that you may have aspirations to manage the capital, I must insist that I require your talents in other lands. The empire will provide all necessary resources for now, but eventually you will need to gather your own. Keep in mind that building over existing structures is crucial. For, a, for creating a successful vertical kingdom. Start by constructing a small city and explore how to expand both vertically and horizontally to establish a prosperous me metropolitan. Best regards, the Empire. Reach in the city of a population of 30. Unlock and buy all cards. The X up here is fine, but it's a pain. I, I, I just kind of want a big button that I kind of click. I don't know why, but going up here to click this X all the time. Seems, seems less than efficient to me. I don't know. It's fine. It's just I'm used to a button. Okay, small brick house. We can't build on there. Do we go down here? I'm, I'm worried about these brick houses because you can't seem to build on top of them. But we, we, we need the money. So what's the, what's the problem with spending a turn to get more cards? Alright. We got this new card again. So we go and buy it. We build this or not? I'd rather not build it, so then we can use it later on. We get to keep it. Oh, wait there. What if I click it again? I don't want any more of these houses. Do I have to use them all to get new cards? Certain cards, such as Brick Tower, have a special symbol that means the building can be structured both horizontal and vertically. These cards serve as the backbone of your city. They provide opportunities to expand, create more space, because constructions, let's build. Okay, I'm still getting them. Oh, okay. So I can build that, but then I don't know if I can build up afterwards, hopefully. We've got no good spot. So I think I can only have three cards at once, and that's the problem that I'm having.
Yeah, okay. I kind of want to get rid of this to a certain degree, but if I get two of the big ones, then I'm really happy. Ugh. There was money in one of these places. It's weird that you get the money for a second. Anchors may appear on cliffs, which can be utilized to create more space for your city. The tower houses capable of anchoring to these. Yes, we just need them. Ooh, that's not very good either. These little houses, though. Let's just take a loss. Here we go. We want... I can't build on top of them though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. I kind of feel like we want to do more with these as well, but you're rather restricted. I guess that's the whole game is being restricted with what you've got. Can I buy anything else? No. We're getting close to finishing already, though. But we're going to have to build some of these crappy ones, I guess. Discard phase. Choose a card to discard. Each card discarded will decrease in one point Imperial loyalty. Number of cards that you can keep. One. Discard. Oof. Oof. What does this mean? So where's our loyalty? Well, I can build two here, I guess. Build a little castle, which is really bad for us. Jeez, they're being harsh. Is there any way to discard cards? Okay. Well, I literally can't even build now. Number of cards that you can keep, one. Where's our loyalty? Okay, now we're talking. I could build ar along these before. Feels like this is the only space I can build. Uh, excellent news, you did a great job. We completed the goal in the city. We can move to our next place and create a new city in order to expand the glorious city. Okay. All right. Okay, so you, you are limited by what you've got, and then you've got to try and work with it. The best of Scorpion here. Okay, 30 citizens again. S rank again. Water and food. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now it's going to start getting harder and harder. Dear great architect of the glorious empire. As you are currently away from the Empire, we regret to inform you that we are unable to provide you with essential resources for your next city. Therefore, you will need to gather your own food and water to sustain the population. We advise you to utilize flat land for farming and well construction. And w farming and well construction. Oh, yeah, well, well. While using anchors for housing purposes, we trust that you will apply your expertise to overcome this challenge and ensure the prosperity of your city. Best regards. The Empire. Reach in the city population of 30. Unlock and buy all cards. Tutorial. The top left corner shows resources available and earn in your city per turn. Loyalty is the first resource on the list and can decrease if you discard cards or face Sorry. specific situations. Running out of loyalty means losing the city. Okay.
Why is it going down by one each turn? It's pretty harsh. So you want us to use these anchors for the city. I don't really, like, before I think I was using these in a kind of a cool way to do double housing, but it doesn't seem to be happening now. I'm guessing we might be able to build over here. Labels are key elements on cards. They can appear randomly and by clicking on them, you can gain various benefits. Whether you encounter a new label, focus on it and obtain relevant information. If you have this card with this label and another card in your hand with the same label, clicking it will discard both to obtain a, de a destroyed building event card. Oh. So we can destroy some of these buildings, which we don't want all the time. Okay. Clicking this label discards the card without penalty and draws another randomly from the selected types for this turn. If you have this card with the, this with if you have this card with this label and another card in your hand with the same label, clicking will discard both. We can't do that. Click this label to discard the card without penalty and you draw up to seven cards into your hand. How many do I have? Where's my... Where's my deck of cards? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know how many I've got. We'll give it a go. Okay. Quite a lot. This is making me feel a lot better. Okay. And they've all got symbols on them. Clicking this label discards all cards from your hand without any penalty. Yeah, they're just being really nice to me now. How far out can I go? Man. The building cards show the required resources at the top and the resources obtained in the middle. Indicates the per turn requirement for production of resources. For instance, this building needs one brick and one food per turn, but offers one worker and one coin in return. The resources you acquire from a building may differ depending on its location and the types of building present with a blue circle. So they require this, oh, that's one food per turn, one brick once. Got a lot of brick. Oh yeah, I can go heaps high. I just don't know where I can build things. I know I can build on top of these. So these are the best. By far. A new card has been unlocked. You can buy it in the store. A well. Only buildable on land. Now we've got a whole lot of crappy ones. But I can do this. Destroy building. Click this card, you'll be able to destroy a building of your city. Okay. Don't know if that was a good idea or not. So I should have built a cross, because then I could have put five houses in. Okay, lesson learned. It was getting me so much coinage though. That's finished. But now we can kind of build sideways and up to be better. So I can... I get two cards. Boom. Beautiful. <laughs> um... 
What if I destroy a card? I guess I don't get my worker. All team workers or population. So I've got 13 now. Seven coins. New card's been long blocked. You can buy it in the store. Is the farm. 10 food per turn. A farm only build on land. You can combine this card with the brick house card. You can combine it with the brick house card. It cannot be combined either a small brick house or the brick tower. What's this? Okay, well, we're buying it. What's this called? Small brick house. Alright. There's flying turtles? What the heck? Having different types of cards such as res residential and agricultural require you to plan ahead and select which type of cards you want to receive each turn. Strategic planning is the key to building a successful vertical kingdom. Residential farming. Choose which type of card will be in your hand in the upcoming turns. I feel like that's a good idea. One. Yeah, it's gonna get tricky later. We need wells as well. Great architect, bad news. We don't have enough resources to meet the needs of our city in this turn. Each unit of each unfulfilled resource will decrease loyalty by one point. This situation will negatively affect the loyalty and happiness of the city. We have to avoid this situation at all costs. Oh, I, I didn't realize it would be the whole time. How do I get wells? I was just unlucky that I didn't get a well. So what do I don't have? I don't have the citizens. Okay. Well, I need to change it to get some... Oh gosh. Luckily we can build these. I thought it was just like one turn, what do you want to build? Alright, we're gonna have to build it somewhere. Now I need other things to be built, thanks. Are they always going to be this now? Okay, okay, okay. Residential, residential. Maybe one farming? In the upcoming turns. I can't undo it either. I can reset it. Probably all residential now. I don't know. Let's do one farming. Right, I take good news. This crisis of a lack of resources seems over. Thanks for putting out the measures and situation. We hope to not to suffer this again soon. Yeah, hopefully too. This label indicates that this card can be combined with another specific card. Check its description to find out which one. Looking on this label, you'll be combining both cards to obtain an upgraded version. Okay. You can by clicking on this label, you'll combine both cards. Fine. Check its description. Oh, well, one of these small brick house. How does it work? Does it both have to have that symbol? It says, um. It cannot be combined with either the small brick house or the brick tower. Okay. This card with the brick house card. It's not a small brick. You need a you need a big brick. Okay. I get you. So we'll redo this one to see if we can get a bigger house. Oh, God. It's not those two together. We're in big trouble.
Now I've got to discard these two. I could build one, I guess, but we're going to want to combine it first. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I should have built a big long line. I'll learn that for next time. Oh, this is got to... Wait, wait, wait. God damn it, what's this? Click this label, discards all cards without any penalty. Bam. Where's my big castles? Okay. We've got one. We got lots of money. Guess we still want residential. What's this? Click this label, discards the card without penalty, and you receive five units of the resource shown on the label. Clicking this label, discard the card without penalty and draw up to seven cards. Okay. I need two of these. Okay. We've done what we needed to do. We didn't get that small. What's this? Need five of that. Okay, cool. Trade and minerals. <laughs> All right, they are great architect of the glorious empire to foster the growth of the city it is essential to secure the resources such as minerals marked on your map the construction of specific buildings for the extraction is imperative additionally emphasize the importance of trading with the empire each city can exchange resources per turn use this capability wisely especially in times of resource scarcity good luck the emperor 50 Platforms. Um, I don't know. One of each. Two wood and five. Okay. Yeah, you can build. Other brick buildings on top of. Makes sense. Oh, up here. What's up there? Is that... You can build there as well. We can't build them in the sand. Oh, I can build up here. I got lots of space. But it's expensive to build it. Oh, I've got no people. So luckily I've got one of these. But I guess I should build this first. Let's see what I can do with this. And then I do this. And then I can build this underneath or not. No, it has to be on the side, so that's problematic. Okay. I'm gonna run out of this quite quickly. Can I build this on top of this? I can. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't really need these at the moment. One one farm would be nice, but what I've got. Maybe I can't maybe I haven't got farms yet. What's this? I can sell and trade stuff. Okay. Sell wood and buy. I don't need to buy apples, that's for sure. I really don't need apples. I could buy timber though. Okay. That's every turn. And I can't build this here. No. I can build it up here though. Okay, I should build it next to a house, I guess. Oh, look, they bring things up. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Hmm. Okay. All right, no more platforms. Two residential, one farming. Okay, so we've got destroy house. Discard this and get seven more cards. Whoa. We need a farm. We need a farm. I thought I might be able to build off this. I thought I might be able to build off the edge of this as well. I think I can if I build with it. I build one. Let's go here. Brick house can build other bricks buildings on top of it. One. Okay. Five. How much does it cost to buy it? I can't. How much does it cost? Oh, 10. So now I can build across here. If I wanted to. You need some other resource. The other way you can get resource by trading it. We saw that. Okay. I was kind of thinking of putting a farm in here. We could put a set of houses in here though. Because it gets plus four with the well. Now we can buy that for sure. We've got six. We don't need too many of these. It doesn't cost too much though. Okay, maybe we should have done that first. Then we can discard this for no penalty. We can combine this with a brick house. Okay. Upgrade. This building has the capability to upgrade lower level buildings of the same type. Okay. It'd be great if I could draw more. I could get rid of this one and then draw more and I might be able to use it to upgrade another one. Oh, we don't have to go across here. I don't know how much space we're going to need for these things. I guess because they're going to be able to grow on top of them anyway. Okay, 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 okay. We'll go across here for now. Let's draw two more. 
I can't upgrade either of these two. But I can see if I can get something different. That's not great. This will be fine. Um, we'll put one of these over here. We want like farming. Okay. So here we go. So we can upgrade this card, this card here. What? This building has the capability to upgrade lower level buildings of the same type. Is that they have to be down? Maybe they have to be down here like this. Oh, what? They could have done that. It just wasn't working. I think I could maybe understand. So this does work. What? I've got no population. Okay, okay. I just need population. Oh, I can upgrade this. But I can't upgrade it for free. It's just using it to upgrade. Okay, maybe that's a good spot anyway. All right, let's put one over here. Oh, now I can't afford it. I need five people though. Stuffed it up big time, didn't I? We got eight water. I don't think we need much more. Well, damn. Let's discard it instead. Residential, original, original. All right, so we got another one of these things. Five people. How does this work? Okay, but I could have just made that anyway, I guess. And I like it. This is kind of cool, isn't it? Just to... Oh, it gets plus three next to that. That's interesting. Does this? No. So they like houses next to each other. Interesting. I could get water, but we've got enough water. Get five for next to that one. On city maps, you will discover areas where raw resources are visible. By constructing the corresponding building, you can obtain essential resources. There's this one here, times three. If you have this card with this label on it and have two other cards in your hand with the same label, click on this label will allow you to discard them to get an upgraded card. Okay. Oof. Okay. Ten plus five. Eleven. Interesting, interesting, interesting.
So now we got mining. I guess we only need one. It did say if we drew three of them, we could upgrade them all or something. We don't want to go too crazy though, do we? We need some farms. Do we have farms? I'm guessing we can't. Oh no, we have got farms. We do need some more farms. Do we have enough of everything else? We're at 22 population. It should be okay. You have this card with this label and have two other cards in your hand with the same label. Are they all going to have that? Okay, so they could be put with something else. Okay, so I could build one on each. I could build three of them. Should I have got all three of them and then I could upgrade them? I don't know. I don't know how much we need it. Not the greatest. Let's discard one of these. Or oh, I have to discard more than one. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're getting six per turn. I feel like these are good for put placing down and then putting things near them to get a whole lot of bonuses. Hmm. I can't even play this card, I get by saying that. Okay. We need more people again. We can't trade for population though, unfortunately. So now I'm in big trouble. Okay, residential's needed. Okay. Do, 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 do. New cards we unlock. Yeah, I thought it would start giving me something with this. Stone Tower, you can build a stone or brick building over it. Okay. Plus 50. Fifty. We're running out of brick. We're not gonna be able to get any more. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't get anything for sitting next to this. I thought I might. Okay. I just do this now. Smashing it. Okay. We got another one of those as well. Oh no, it disables everything. I could go sideways on this. That's how you get lots of money. Uh, you did a great job. Completed the goal. We can move to the next place. Okay. All right. All right, we'll do one more map. We don't want to take up too much time. And it, it does look kind of cool. I like it. <coughs> Quite a lot of strategy involved at the moment. It's, it's not too bad. We got so much land. 
We sincerely appreciate you trying out. Oh, there we go. Small demo. Craft with love. We invite you to add the game to your wish list and share with your thoughts. The final version will feature a roguelike mode for exploration city and wonder building. A relaxed pace construction mode and a sandbox mode to experience with the game's building and much more. Thank you again. Yeah, I like it. It's nice and relaxing. You got as much time as you want to do what you want. You do have to pay attention up here. Sometimes you just keep building and you're not 100% sure of what of what's going on up the top left. But you got the trade mechanics so you can get stuff done there. Not not really hard, I, I guess. Like you couldn't have really lost the game through the demo there. But it sounds like they're implementing some cool new things there. Roguelike mode where you can kind of unlock things as you go. Be interesting. Then a sandbox where you can play around with all the different things that you can try and do. Very cool. All right, guys. Uh, link in the description as normal. Wishlist it. Help the developer if you think it's really cool. And would like it in the future. Like. Subscribe. All that cool stuff really helps me out. And we'll see you in the next one. This has been Vertical Kingdoms. I fucking out.